Welcome to the 2006 Consumer Electronics Show. It's the first day of the Consumer Electronics Show here in Las Vegas, and we saw a lot of fascinating products on the floor. Here are a few highlights. Well, the Trio 7 has been a great device for us because it's going to expand the market for us to reach out to even more people, because the big goal for us is to get people off of 12 key phones onto smartphones. Now, the big change in the 700 is the fact that it's no longer a Palm OS device, it's now a Windows Mobile device. What prompted the move from Palm OS to Windows Mobile? It's not a move, it's an addition. So that's a big thing to know. We don't expect people who have Palm background to go switching over to the 700 just because it's a Windows device. What we'd like to do is find those Windows users who are looking for the best smartphone. And as I said a second ago, it's about getting all those other guys that are using 12 keys to do either the Palm OS or the Windows OS, but just go to a trio. Any great new features that are available on the 700 that the old Trio users may want to migrate to the 700 as opposed to the Palm version? Or is there going to be another Palm version coming out? What's the plan there? Well, there's going to be more Palm versions, so I want to make sure everybody understands that. One of the coolest things about the 700, though, is the Verizon eVideo network speed. So that's a nice thing. Some of the cool things that we've done, our engineers software-wise, though, have done things a lot with uh, customizing the Today screen to add the special things that we're really good at and bringing it to the Windows OS. Like being able to type your name instead of typing someone's telephone number. We have picture ID on there, so you can have picture quick caller ID. We do some neat things with these VCR-like buttons that you can get your voicemail and fast forward and delete. That's a really cool thing that we all added to the Windows mobile platform. Uh, what we're doing here at CES is we're launching the Cable Free USB initiative together with Belkin and Geffen. And what that does is recognize that consumers have a USB 2.0 connection on just about every piece of gear they have and they want the benefit of wireless. What that benefit of wireless means is they need to eliminate not just the clutter of the wires around them, but also a group, a host of physical limitations. So the timeline is that it, it launches out in dongles, all new technologies of this type, launch out in dongles and accessories and peripherals. Uh, our partners, Belkin and Geffen, are tier one for getting that done. And over time, what you see happen is it becomes integrated into a device like a camera, like a smartphone, like a digital video camcorder or a media player. And it just takes physically more time for the engineering and the manufacturing to get done for that greater degree of complexity, but you get better benefit for it as well. I work for Silex Technology America. Today we're demonstrating the ultra wideband technology from Freescale. What we're doing is basically we've designed a solution that captures an XGA video from this laptop and sends it over the ultra wideband radio to this receiver, and from here it goes to the plasma TV. The application really is. Uh, inside a home in the multimedia setup, you can eliminate all the clutter of the cables as you go to install the plasma or LCD TV on the wall. You don't need all the cables hanging from your cable box going to the TV. With this technology, you can have ultra wideband embedded somewhere inside of the TV and you just send wirelessly all the audio video information and get rid of the clutter of the cables. The other application could be inside of the boardroom in the, in the conference room where you have uh, a projector or one of these um, whiteboards, electronic whiteboards. You can make all of that uh, connected wirelessly to your laptop and other peripherals.